Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Where last time, Kara it, it continues to be in troublesome situations where this time Luther was shot and killed by a police officer. Terrible, especially since only like 9% of people who have actually, who've actually done that uh, have had that outcome. So that's really sad. Uh, but then the second part was great when Marcus led a peaceful revolt, even though a lot of his people got killed. That is, that was horrible. We haven't heard from Connor. I'm imagining that we're about to in this next scene. So let's see what happens. That looks like Hank. I guessed it right. Hank's our friend. I guess that's relevant information. That's good. It is very cold. And what is that up there? Is that like a boat or a ship or something? That'd be cool if that was the Jericho boat, right? I doubt it though. I doubt it. I doubt that's the direction this is about to go. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. What the hell? I don't want to kill him. How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Interesting. So we let the guy alive, and that's what I wanted. I did not want to see that guy die. That cop. But I can honestly say, if it was a random cop, I don't know if I would have spared them. I don't know. I just don't know. Hey! Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. That's the girl. From the, the title intro from episode one. Remember that? That's awesome. Bare feet. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. All right, well, let's just see. Is this the dude? Elijah Kamsky, resigned 2028 inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. He's a Cyberlife founder. Wow. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. <laughs> Whoa. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How does it feel? Hmm. It doesn't raise any existential <laughs> Ooh, we just found something important. Hey! That's that girl that we keep talking about! That's Amanda! Died in 2027. Oh, my face is in the way. Hold on. Am I able to get rid of it? Let me try. Hold on. No, but wow. Questions? If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. So. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. That's insane, dude. I think we've discovered everything we need to, s to discover now. That Amanda's been dead. She's programmed into his subconscious. I knew it. Oh, what am I doing? Sit down. There's nothing else to see. Unless I talk to Hank, maybe. Ah. Perfect timing. I was about to get bored. Elijah, we'll see you now. Oh. Mr. Kamsky! Interesting. Just a moment, please. He's in the water, apparently. 
It's women with a couple of androids. There he is. He's finishing up his laps. We don't want to interrupt the man. Right? I'm just trying to analyze the situation, okay? We're in the middle of nowhere, it looks like. It's very cold. Yeah. Alright, there he is. <laughs> That's so creepy. Man bun. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Mm. Isn't it ironic? So... Uh, help us? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Hmm. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Oh, boy. Whose side are you on? Uh... I'm gonna be direct. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you... What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. It's so true. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Oh boy. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Hmm. Cool. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. This is what weird. is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With Done. a soul. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. What? Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. What? Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Wow. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. This is That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. <laughs> well, I think it's obvious I'm not going to shoot, even though it doesn't seem to care whether it stays alive or not. Fascinating. 
Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. No, I was listening to Hank. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? Wow. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. I'm not a deviant. I listened to Hank. Okay? That was what I did. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What does that mean, emergency exit? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Whoa. I did not expect that. I expected Hank to be mad. Dang. That was that was a bizarre bizarre chapter. I mean, seriously. It could have ended up with something else. I'm not sure what would have happened otherwise, but there's two different endings to this one and we chose this one and it looks like 87%. 87% of people who have played this have spared Chloe. So that's encouraging. Uh, wait for Kamsky. I missed one thing, but that's fine, I guess. Um, also, apparently, since Hank didn't kill me, um, this would have went differently otherwise. Cops spared. Hey, cool. So because I spared the cops in the previous episode, I learned that Chris, the, the cop guy, survived. That's awesome. And only 50% of people actually experienced that. So that's awesome. I think that went well. Um, although I'm sad that I didn't learn anything new, I, I'm seriously, I was just doing what Hank said, okay? I'm not a, I'm not a deviant. Or am I? Looks like we have another Marcus one this time. Maybe I should read this just because it's there. Android Riot. Global population reached 10 billion. U.S. life expectancy 91. Oh. Cool. Just kind of looking around to see if there's any... Ooh, piano! Dude, we should totally play the piano. Remember when I did this the first time and I was all worried because I knew I wouldn't be any good at it? think about where they're at right now they're starting a rebellion the entire world is in a uproar we have to ask ourselves is it worth it for the androids it's for freedom for the androids it's for equality right now they're being treated awful that's what we've experienced in the first part of this game but now but now we have a chance to make a difference, but it could cost many, many lives if it goes violent, which is the whole reason why I've been trying to avoid letting it go violent this entire time. I don't know, man. It's intense. So Marcus right now is taking his time. He's enjoying his creativity and reminding himself of his past. 
Remembering Carl? Carl, right? Remembering Carl? And unwinding before what's likely going to be addressing an army, if I had to guess what this was going to be about. Or he's just going to look at the city. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. I like it. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary. I was at the about, same time. I was about to say that same thing. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Perfect. <laughs> He had the life, seriously. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? Getting ourselves some character development. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. Mm. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. Hmm. One day I was with a man who rented me. Ooh. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. Hmm. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. Wow. I shouldn't have told you. It's okay, North. I'm with you. That's symbolic, right? Remove the skin completely together. No secrets. your memories Carl's house when they left you for dead in his studio I saw your memories too the Eden Club the death of that man I felt like I was there with you wow North hmm See that? Changed from uh, companion friend to companion to lover. Wow. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. What the heck's going Marcus. on? Please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. 
This is the only way. Convert more androids. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our messages. Okay. You're free. Alright, so are there more? Cause... This guy? No, that's not one of them. This guy. He's security. You're awake now. Two new converts. Think about it. Androids are everywhere, and they listen... Come with us. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. Yep, they are spying on you right now. Ooh, I missed one. I have a feeling that getting as many as possible is a good idea. I see one there way at the back. Didn't mean to miss this one, but, you know, it is what it is, right? You're free. I love how he just touches them and they're just like, alright, let's go. <laughs> awesome. So... Is that everybody, or what? Can I go inside of any of the doors? Because... That would... Probably help. I don't know. No. I've already converted this dude. Okay. Well then, I think that we've got them all. Um, let's go outside and see what the heck's about to happen. I'm a little nervous about it. To be honest. Lock the road. Finally. I've been out of like ten minutes. I'm gonna convert more. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. Oh boy. <laughs> I need to block the street. All right, we've gotten a few followers. I didn't mean to start all this just yet, though. Open the manhole cover. Are there any more? Yeah, there's you. You are free. Free all the androids. Hurrah. You don't have to obey them. You're free. So was that ten? Yeah, that was that was uh oh well, that's nine. Okay. So when you leave. I can't keep going. I guess I've reached the uh um, the end. Could have sworn there'd be ten. Come on, guys. Okay, well. Oh, you. Oh, no, never mind. Maybe on the other side of the road there's a couple. Huh? Oh, that was the game interfering with my, uh... My plan there. Alright, let's do this. Release! Release the beasts! I think that's what's about to happen. I don't really know for sure. So what are we gonna do? We're all gonna like stand up and stand in the middle of the street and then convert more. Okay, convert more, yes. You're free now. Oh! Dude, I just did it telepathically. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. So we're, dude, seriously, that is so cool.
so I'm just like every time I see a letter I click the button and all of the androids are joining me it's crazy please don't shoot I am peaceful And all I have to do now is look at them and boom, they're free. This is crazy. And we're going to hack this thing from a distance too. Dude, this is crazy. Power, right? I mean, Marcus has literally hacked the entire world. And we're just walking, okay? We're just walking. We're not trying to, you know, start anything. We're not trying to make any problems. We're just, uh, you know, we're just, we're just ex exercising our freedom to walk and be free and stuff, right? This is such an iconic scene. Look at this. What the hell are you doing here? There's that hey. cop right there. Disperse. Disperse immediately. No, we're That's not. An order. We're violent. I mean, we're not violent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put your gun down. What's wrong with you? Jesus fucking Christ. Just put your gun down. Okay? This bed's is patrol 457. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. Hundreds, thousands, and they're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. We are people. Yeah. We are people. We are people. We are alive. We are alive. I'm so into this right now. This is intense. Alright, they're here, but it's okay. Don't get freaked. Just, just, just leave the charge, Marcus. Stay in the front, buddy. Dang, they are responding. They are freaking res- Look at this! Riot units? We're not doing anything, yo. We're just walking. We're just walking. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. Wow. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. Whoa. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Three choices. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. All right. So the world will see that we did our best, and now we're gonna keep our people alive. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders. No way. Oh my gosh, they're about to shoot us. They're about to attack us. Run! Oh, okay. I was too late. So now my people are getting mowed down, and the world will see it. 
And I hope that some people... Man. Wow. We gotta go. Okay, so this was good though. This was this was non-violent, right? But we we lost some people again. Jeez. My goodness. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here, here's what the here was what the plan was. Okay, the plan was to non-violently send a message that we are alive and that we feel and that we need to be free and honestly i think by showing that we are willing to run it shows that we are willing to pre uh, prevent ourselves from dying we have a will to live right and if that if they if if the goal of marcus and jericho is to prove to the world that we are that we are alive and self-aware, then that was a good way to go, honestly. We could have attacked, and it could have just turned it into a big giant war. So, I mean, I don't know. 25% of people fled. Sacrifice self, 48%. Wow. Dang, dude. That's intense. So I decided to leave. That's 23. Look at that. 23% of people decided to leave. 66% decided to stand their ground. It would have been a massacre and it wouldn't have done any any good. I feel like we showed that we have a will to live and that I think that's a victory in in my opinion. Jeez, that was crazy. Whew. All right. All right guys, well that was an intense episode. Um refusing to shoot Chloe at the beginning with Connor was just I think a lot that told a lot. It said a lot about um the fact that Connor is also a deviant, but I was just trying to listen to Hank. All right, there's my alibi. But also this Self-preservation, the hum the basic human instinct. My goodness. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Be sure and look forward to next time where I'm pretty sure something's about to hit the fan. I mean, you can tell something is about to hit the fan. I hope it's not too bad, but it's about to come to a close very, very soon. So definitely stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.